Hey guys, it's MJ, the Student Tech Tree, and in this video, I want to look very quickly at the differences between a unit link policy and a with profit policy. In both cases, what you would do as an individual is you would give your hard earned money to a life insurance company, which would then invest it on your behalf. Now, classically, we would do it with profits, and more recently, there's been this unit linked. The big difference is that the unit link gives more investment risk to you as the policyholder. But it is a little bit more transparent and it does have a little bit more benefits if you want to surrender early and that type of stuff. But what I want to do in this video is just show you the key difference. What is the big, big difference? So let's say we have a little graph and we have time over here and we have return over here. Now, with the yellow line, I'm going to show you how your investments will move when you buy the unit linked. Okay, when you buy the unit linked, it'll go up, it'll come down, it'll go up, it will be, you can see, very, very volatile. Okay, when you have a with profits account, what will happen is your investments will do something like this. Okay, and you might actually get a little terminal bonus at the end to push you back up. But the big difference being is this volatility. So, and this is where actuaries come in. So an actuary will see, gosh, look how well the unit linked did over there. We're only gonna give a very small increase on the, with profits, and we're gonna put this additional amount into a reserve. Oh, my thing is not drawing properly. Into a reserve. And what we're going to do is whenever we think that the unit link is giving an excess of return, we're going to put money into the reserve. Okay, so this you can see, this is, we're putting money into the reserve at that area there. But let's say the unit link dips a bit. What we're then going to do over here is we're going to take out of the reserve and we're going to actually give more money to the, the policyholders when the investments do badly, but when the investments do well, we give them a little bit less. And this is quite nice in the sense that, as you can see, it strips out a lot of the investment volatility and can give you something that is just a little bit more, it's, it's easier to plan ahead. You can see, okay, my investments are doing so well, I can plan and budget my, my life around it. Whereas with the unit linked, you can see it's a little bit more crazy. It can go up the one uh, month, so you think you're rich, and then the next month it falls down, and you're like, oh, no, I'm poor. And it's, it's very, very crazy. But the, with profits, it comes in, and they smooth out the investment returns. And how they actually do the smoothing, well, that's where the actuaries come in, building the reserves. That's very much an actuarial practice. But... It has kind of lost flavor. People have found that unit link investing is a little bit more sexy because they can see directly what they're doing and their charges and, and all that type of stuff. So there are a few other differences in the structure and all that, but this picture here should show you the general, the general picture. When investments are, are down, you take away from the reserves, and when investments are high, you put into the reserves to save for a, a rainy day. And that's it. Thanks guys so much for watching this video and please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Cheers.